Hello friends, this is Jean from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to learn how to make a cupboard in SketchUp. So, for that, first of all, we will have to understand a few things like what is the dimension of the cupboard. So, a cupboard is approximately 5 feet high and then it is 1 feet 6 inches wide. Now, so I have made a box like that. So the breadth of this cupboard is 3 feet and I am taking offset at 0.5 inches. Now we need a section of 10 inches height and then we will need a slab of 0.5 inches. So let's start from the top. So I will use the guidelines and make divisions at 10 inches and then I will take an offset for 0.5 inches so that I can make a slab. Okay, so that will divide the cupboard in different sections. Now, what I need to do, I need to take a guideline at 0.5 inches in the back so that I can push it and surface at the back of the cupboard. Now, I will just divide the sections and using the push pull tool, I will just push it to the guideline so that even in the back side of the cupboard, I can get a surface which is 0.5 inches thick. Now I will just get rid of the unnecessary lines. So for that, I am using my eraser tool. Now I will just explore a little bit and see if I have any more lines. So now. It is fine to go ahead. Now what I need in my cupboard is a door. Okay. But before that we also need a stand over here. So I will just make sections so that I can get a stand for this cupboard. Now I will take it as a one fit and then I will again draw a line at one inches so that I can join it in the similar way as it was joined in the previous cupboard. Now I will uh, make a door so that we can close this cupboard. So for that what I will do I will take the measurements. So over here it is almost 1 foot 6 inches because the total thickness is 3 foot. So we will just create a rectangle which is half of the total uh, breadth of the cupboard okay now i will take a rectangle of 3 feet 7 inches by 1 feet 6 inches and then i will just divide it in two parts so that i can have two different surfaces over here now i will take the offset at 1 inches and then again at 5 inches so that I can get divisions over here and I can pull it outside by 0.2 inches. So for that, so for that, I will use a simple trick of using the push pull tool. And what is that? Press the Alt key on your keyboard and pull it upwards so that you can pull it in a desired geometry. Okay. Now I will just make it a group and then I can place it at the desired location after applying the texture on it. Over here you can also see we have a stand. So we need a different texture on our stand and I will make it a metal. Okay. So I have given it a metallic texture. Now all I need to do is to just be sure that okay i'm using the right texture so using the material box you can always choose different textures from there now it's time to place the door to the desired location so for that i will use my move tool and copy the door over here now again i will make another copy so that i can see the door properly now to give it a better look, I will just open it a little bit and I will do the same for the another door. 
okay guys so this is how you can make a cover in a sketchup and you can always try different textures and colors to make it look better and if you want to join our classes then you will find a link in the description all you have to do is to just click on that link and then you will be redirected to a google form so this is a google form all you have to do is to fill this form and i will personally give you a call till then if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel thank you